Hey, there we go. That's a PR for sure. Show me an easy throw, like a, a wheel. Okay, you've got your chest and we're gonna open the shoulder a little bit. Hips back, so I want this hip on top of the knee. Stretch and hold and you're going to bring the shot into this arm, go. You feel that? Go. Feel a little different? Better different? Yeah. It look better. Ooh, I like that one. We're gonna open the arm. Notice how your chest isn't moving. So you'll feel your arm kind of going as you step. Wham, then it stretches and holds. And go ahead and go step, stretch. Oh, yeah, so that's the next piece, right? So you gotta open. That was the right idea. Open the arm, not the chest. Go. Yes. Yeah, that was actually a lot better. Boom, boom, boom. Rip it around, rip it around. There. Feel that? Open around. There we go. That was a lot closer. See how you're rotating faster now. Ah, moving a lot better. Not too bad. Ah, boy, that was close. Ooh, that was close. That just came off the hand, huh? Yeah. Good sink and push. So we're basically pre-turning the hips. We're using the left side to wind the shot back to here. There you go. So you're pre-turning the hips. So your hip is already into the throw, so you're gonna bring it back and you're gonna come through. You'll go back behind it, yep. Now push with your hip and go, that was much better. All right, so you'll turn and bring your upper body forward, okay? That was close. A wider base, too narrow. Yep. over that was better stretch and hold a little more sink oh just got the left floating around a little bit so now it's starting to move better okay so pull it behind there we go so see how it's still stopping remember I want the left to come all the way here to seven and the, and the right to keep turning okay go there we go much better that's exactly what we want. Close. Not bad though. Ooh, that was pretty good. Ooh, close, close. That's good. Hey, there we go. Nice one. That's a PR for sure. That's a couple foot PR. Good work. End of a long weekend. Peyton Williams from St. George, Utah. He came to our preseason camp. Within a few weeks of that, he hit a 170 foot PR. He, had, he technically opened the season with like uh, about 20 feet. He's primarily a discus thrower. He said he felt very uncomfortable with the spin. And it was a really good examination into the throwing chain reaction system and how we apply it. So what we did is he had about a three foot PR in the shot put as a rotating shot putter doing the rotational technique. As we went through the weekend, there was specific things that you could see wrong in his throw and that was really creating some limitations. And I think he's been taught a lot of good things, but he's also taught a couple things that I would teach in a different way. And I think that's throws coaching. But again, what we try to do with the throwing chain reaction is really look at mechanically, is what's being taught having the most impact and carry over into the full throw? We said uh, he's a glider and we have a decision. Should we teach him the glide? Should we improve his glide? Or should we teach him the rotational shot? And he said he felt really uncomfortable. So in the rotational shots, we explained those differences. We taught him 
those differences. And he, like I said, his final throw of the day at a three foot, uh, three foot PR as a rotational shot putter. He felt a lot more comfortable. It's very clear that that's what he's gonna be doing going forward and his potential and upside is gonna be much better. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.